Alhamdulillah, Allah gave us another opportunity to gain closeness to Allah, subhanahu wa Allah. And we gain that closeness by gaining knowledge of Allah, subhanahu wa Allah, gaining knowledge of reality, gaining knowledge of life, gaining knowledge of our deen. Alhamdulillah, Alameen. And as we talked about last week with regards to knowledge or understanding history, whether it's Black History Month, African History Month, but we say Islamic history is the best history. Islamic history is the best history and is the true history. So inshallah, today we're going to continue on some knowledge, Islamic knowledge, with the boss to our reality. Alhamdulillah, We know that first and foremost that Allah SWT said, A'udhu billahi min shaitan rajeem, wa ma qalaqadu jinnah wa insa illa liya'abudun. I did not create jinn or mankind, except that they may worship Allah subhanahu wa Allah. Allah did not create us, except with the purpose of worshiping Him. But how did we get here? Who was the first person that was created? Adam, alayhi salam. Alhamdulillah, me. So we know that Adam, alayhi salam, was the first person created. Right? But what do we know about Adam, alayhi salam? What are some of the things that we know about Adam alayhi salam. We've been given a history, right? Or we've been shown certain things with regards to TV, books, right? We've been given fake narratives. We've been given lies with regards to Adam alayhi salam. What did he look like, right? What did Eve look like? But inshallah, today we're going to go through the Quran. We're going to go through some tafsir. We're going to go through some hadith with regards to Adam alayhi salam. Right? And then we're going to end it off with the boys to Isa alayhi salam, which was Jesus. Insha'Allah. So today, inshallah, we're talking about Adam alayhi salam. Right? And when we're talking about Adam, Adam is the first person that was created. Right? We're told by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he was created him to be a khalifa. Right? He created him to be a vicegerent. Right? On the land. And we're told with the boys to Adam. Adam is the name of a person, but Adam is also a sifat, which is the description or a color, right? So the word Adam, not only does it mean the name of a name, that's the name that Allah spoke about, named the first person that was created, but the word Adam is also a sifat, it is also a description of a color, as we'll see. So again, we understand that Allah said in the Quran, chapter 4, verse 51, chapter 4, excuse me, chapter 4, verse 1 in the Quran, chapter 4, verse 1 in the Quran, Allah states, I be learning, Mishnah al Rajim, O mankind, have taqwa of your Lord. And Allah spoke to us talking to all of mankind. O mankind, have taqwa of your Lord, who created you from a single soul. So Allah is telling us that all of mankind was created from one person. All of mankind came from one person. This is our reality, right? What is our reality as Muslims? How did we get here? Who was here first? All of that, Darwin's theory, pigs, right? Tadpoles, monkeys, all of that. What do we believe as Muslims? Allah says, O mankind, have taqwa, have fear of your Lord who created you from a single soul. So Allah, Allah said that all of mankind came from a single soul. And that single soul was Adam alayhi salam. So Allah, Allah said that all of mankind, all of mankind, all of human beings came from one soul, which was Adam alayhi salam. And he said, and from that soul, from that nafs, which was Adam, he created his mate, right? He created his pair, his partner, right? So we're told that from Adam and Islam, Allah came, Allah created Eve. We're told in Tafsir with regards to Adam and Eve, that Adam and Islam was the first person created. And we're told that Allah spoke Allah fashioned him, which we're going to get into, inshallah, out of a black clay. But after Allah spoke Allah created Adam alayhi salam, we're told in Tafsir that Adam alayhi salam was lonely in the Jannah. 
Adam and Islam, the first person created, nobody else around, and he was lonely. So Allah caused him to go to sleep, and Allah took from his left rib. Allah took from the left rib of Adam and Islam, and from that rib put flesh and created Eve. So we're told that Eve came from the rib of Adam and Islam. So the woman came from the man. And Allah when I said that Allah created all of mankind from the single soul, meaning Adam and Islam, and from that soul, meaning Adam and Islam, he created his mate. Right? So Allah, Allah tells us the fitra with regards to man and woman. The natural disposition or the natural fitra is that Allah, Allah created man, and from that man, he made his mate, which was Eve, right? Man and woman, Adam and Eve. Then Allah Allah said, and from these two, meaning who? Meaning Adam and Eve. So Allah Allah telling us the reality with regards to all of mankind. And from these two, he created many men and many women. So thus, Allah 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 tells us through revelation. Allah tells us through a, a true narrative, through the Quran. That from Adam and Eve came all of mankind. So basically, all of mankind comes from Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve. All of human beings come from Adam and Eve. So thus, if we go into scientific data, we go into DNA, to prove that all of mankind has a, a, a specific DNA that goes back to two people. And Allah, Allah tells us this in the Quran, and this is proven scientifically, this is proven through DNA, so forth and so on. This is the reality. Any other reality or any other type of pseudo-reality, Darwin's theory, monkeys, tadpoles, fish, all of that, this is blasphemous, this is kufr in the sight of Allah. This is kufr in Islam. This is not part of our belief system. So Allah Quran said in chapter 4, verse 1, O oh mankind, fear your Lord who created you from a single soul. So we believe that all of mankind came from Adam. Right? Then he said that from Adam he created his mate, his partner, Adam and Eve. Again, showing the fifth row. The natural disposition is a man and a woman. This is the natural disposition. This is how Allah created it. This is how Allah made it. This is how it's supposed to be. Alhamdulillah, And from these two, right, he dispersed or made many men and many women. So Allah said that he created Adam. From Adam came Eve, right? He created Eve from Adam from a left rib, right? And we're told in the hadith that Rasulullah sallallahu said that because the woman was created from the rib, which is curved, right? He said, don't try to bend it too much or it'll break. You got to be kind with it. You got to be gentle with it. Okay? So from Adam and Eve came all of mankind. So everybody came from Adam and Eve. White, black, brown. Every human being in existence came from Adam and Eve. This is the reality of the matter. To say any other concept, to say any other narrative, or there was people before then and all this other stuff, and blah, 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 whatever it may be, whatever scientific book that you read, whatever magazine that you read, whatever somebody made up, right? As a Muslim, as one who believes in Allah, subhanahu wa the one who believes in the Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, those who believe in the Quran and the Surah of the Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, this is the reality. Adam and Eve, all of mankind came from Adam and Eve, and thus all DNA will go back to Adam and Eve, one man and one woman. Alhamdulillah, mean. And we know that this is already proven. Everybody has a similar DNA. Alhamdulillah, mean. With regards to Adam, again, I said the word Adam is a ism, it's a name and a sifat, which is a description. We go to chapter 15 of the Quran, chapter 15, verse 26. Allah said that verily we created mankind from Hama in Masnoon. We created him from a clay, right? A potter's clay, 
Hama in Masnun. And we're told that in Tafsir that Hama in Masnun means a black clay. Right through the Tafsir of Ibn Kathir, Kutrabi, Tabari, right? From the well known predominant uh, Sahabas, Ibn Abbas, etc. Hama in Masnun means black clay, Aswan. Okay? So we're told that. Adam alayhi salam, he said, all of mankind was created from Hama in Masnun. Because all of mankind came from Adam. So Allah is telling us that Adam alayhi salam was made out of black clay. Black clay. Right? So thus we also understand that not only was Adam a name, but Adam was a sifa, but the gods of a description. We say that Adam alayhi salam means black. We say that the word Adam means black. And we're told in the top scene with regards to what was Adam made out of. Adam was made out of Hama in Masnun. And we're told in the top seer that Hama in Masnun means black clay, a black sticky clay. We're told in the top seer that when Allah, when Allah created Adam alayhi salam, he fashioned him, right? And he was a shell for 40 years. So this shell or this clay, it was a black clay. So Adam and Islam was black. Adam was a black color. Adam was black in color, right? We have many descriptions with regards to colors. We have Asmar, right, which is brown. We have Adam, which means black, right? And we have Asham, which is a dark black, right? This is the description that we had a Musa alayhi salam, right, black like a crow. We have Asmar, brown, Adam, which means black, and Asham, which is dark black. So this is a light black color, Asmar, which means brown, but it's also depicted as a black color. That which is darker than that is Adam, which is black. Then we have another description of black, which is Asham, which is a darker black, like Musa and Salam, and we're told that this color black was like a black crow. Okay? But all of these depict the color black. So Adam and Salam, his name was black, and he looked at black. He was black. Also, again in this ayah, Allah said that he created mankind from Hama in Masnun, from a black clay. Right? So we have many evidence with the God for Adam alayhi salam, the name Adam, the word Adam means black. He was created from a black clay, right? So his shell, right, his outer appearance was black as well. Aswad. Alhamdulillah what I mean. And again, we've already been shown or proven by biological, uh, uh, scientific data with the God to DNA data that all of mankind has a similar DNA that goes back to Adam and Eve. Now, this is what Allah SWT said. All of mankind came from Adam and Eve. This is what we believe, right? And again, we have diet, we have biological uh, data, we have DNA data, right? But if we go into biology, and biology is a science, right? You learn it in the 10th grade. Biology is a science. And in biology, you learn about dominant and recessive genes. Dominant and recessive genes, right? So we're told about dominant recessive genes, and you learn about colors, right? We're told that a dominant color is black, a recessive color is white. And we're told in biology, with regards to the dominant and recessive genes, that any dominant color, which is black, it can bring forth recessive colors. So from black, you got all the different colors, right? But if you have a recessive gene or a recessive color, you cannot bring about a dominant color. So thus, it first has to start off with something dominant to bring about other colors. So we're told that black is a dominant color. And from the color black comes all colors, right? If you get a paint set, you get a coloring set, 
You take all of the colors, white, red, brown, right, blue, yellow, green. You get all these colors and you put them together and you stir them up. They'll come up with the color black. It'll turn back to black. Because all colors come from black. Biological fact. DNA fact. Okay? So thus, we say revelational fact, hadith fact, right? Quranic fact, biological fact, DNA fact, right? Dominant recessive genes. Black is a dominant color. All colors come from black. So this is a biological fact. Then if we go to the Quran, Allah will say that he created all of mankind from Adam and Eve. Adam means black. Allah said that he created Adam out of a black clay. Right? So thus he was black. Right? He was black. Right? He was black. All colors come from black. Every human being comes from black. Alhamdulillah. Now remember, again, we were also told with regards to Noah, right, when he came out of the ship. Okay? And the reason why I'm going to go back to this because we want to touch on the subject matter of Adam and Salam. And at the same time, we want to talk about Jesus. Okay, we're going to talk about Jesus again. We're giving Islamic history. Islamic history. Right? Many things that we've been told, we've been lied about. Many things that we've been told, we've been given a wrong narrative. Right? A wrong description. Right? So today, inshallah, we're just going to shed light on some of the knowledges and some of the truths with regards to what does Islam say about certain things.